YouTubers out there, it is V, and uh, I'm sitting down. I never sit down. I'm always standing up when I'm talking to you guys. And uh, you know, today's show is going to be about speaking proper English versus slang. This is controversial because in the black community, we have several ways of talking to one another, and we have several ways to talking to people like yourself. And it's called code switching. Code switching, okay, which is essentially changing up your vernacular, how you would talk to appease the people or the person in front of you. Now, I'm talking to you in a specific kind of way because this is a, is a tutorial, a uh, more, maybe not even a tutorial, it's a conversation. And, uh, it's not aimed at anyone in particular, so it's very generalized, and I choose to speak a particular type of way to convey my thoughts. Now, if I'm in another part of town, in the hood, my inflictions <clears throat> may be slightly different, thus code switching. But the reason I'm doing this pro program today is because I got into a heated, heavy debate online with a person who shall remain nameless, but they know who they are because I'm going to send this video to them and I'm sure he's going to have a lot to say. But it was a fantastic debate, by the way. It was no, no, uh, no, uh, no foul language used towards one another and I thought that was fantastic. So anyway, getting on to the point, code switching. Let me first preface this by saying uh, I don't think it's a problem. I don't, think, I don't find it a problematic when people do that. I do it as well, but I do strongly have a uh, staunch position as to the utilization of standard English. That's how I was raised. Uh, I grew up in a pretty predominantly white neighborhood, but uh, it was mixed here and there, meaning there are people from the Philippines that I knew, there are people from India that were my neighbors. Um, not too many of us black people living there in California, where I'm from, in the San Francisco Bay Area, and for the most part. Um, so, of course, you know, your environment can dictate how you talk, how you sound when you talk, you know. And we black people, we, we, are, the, we are our worst enemies sometimes. We discriminate to our own damn selves, which I never understood. You know, if you speak too proper than you whitewashed, you know. If you speak, if your skin is this color, then you think you're that. If your skin is another color, then you must be this. You know, what the... <sighs> That's another video altogether. But uh, code switching, is it important? I think it is important to be able to do it. I think it's also important to use standard English whenever you can. Because we are living in America, people. This is the, uh, the language that Americans speak, the number one language in the world, which happens to be English. So why not master it, or at least somewhat master it? Why, why, especially in the black community, we're constantly misusing words or making words up that are not standardized English? Now, in the South, all people down in the South sound a certain way to everyone else. And... Uh, if you're from the South, I mean, no disrespect, but a lot of times, if you speak with a Southern accent, you're perceived as being kind of dumb, you know, or dumbed down, which is not true, but that's how it's perceived from time to time, especially from Northerners or people from other countries. If you, from the East Coast, you have a complete different way of talking. It's, and I'm not talking the inner city East Coast. I'm just talking East Coast in general. And from the West Coast, yeah, we know. You know, we say things like, you know, um, for sure, dude. You know, um, hella, and all that crap. Not all of us, but some of us. And that's, by the way, us Californians, we hate it when outsiders call it Cali. It just gets under our skin. It's just California. But I, I'm deviating from what I want to talk about. My um, seven minutes is what I got left on my, com on my um, camera, and I probably rambled for four, so let's get back on point. Let me ask you a question. Do you think standardized English is necessary? And also, what the hell is up with Ebonics? Is that even... Um, Something that I want to talk to you about right now? Probably not, because I want to save that one for later. 
Anyway, um, getting back to how a person is perceived when they talk. Black folks, I'm tired of hearing that proper English crap when you say, oh, you sound white. That's bullshit. I sound like me, okay? Volante. I'm not changing that for no one. Not even you. Um, but, but, you know, reflecting mirror off of me and back into the general world at large. This goes for everybody, not just people from an urban community. I'm talking about everyone. Standardized English, which is really corporate America English, I think will get you further, okay, up the corporate ladder or in your workplace if you can communicate effectively. Leave that street slang uh, on the street where it belongs. When you come to your job, speak effectively, okay? Speak English. I'm out. I'll be What are you still doing here? Bye. Go. Get out of here.